Hey guys, in this tutorial you are going to learn some basic Windows Live Movie Maker um, features and how to put a movie together. So first you're going to have to open Windows Live Movie Maker. Oops. Windows Live Movie Maker, I searched it up, but I accidentally exited it out. So, just... Okay, so now you're going to open... Uh, um, now what you're going to do is just add in videos and photos and stuff. So, what I'll do is I'll just add in... Uh, I'll add in the sample video that Windows 7 default comes with. Okay, um, so it's just adding in the little clip right now. Actually, okay, there we go. Yeah, so the video is just added in. It's the clip is ready for, um, ready to be. It's ready to be transitioned and like has transitions and titles, uh, credits and stuff. Okay, so yeah, what you do first is you add videos and photos. You can take a webcam video. You can add any music that you want. Uh, take a snapshot of a current picture. I could take that snapshot, put it into my pictures library. So yeah, uh, just hit photos and videos and photos. Because now that the clip has added in, um, some things I can do is go to animations, the animations tab. I can see how I could see some transitions of how they could look. So let's say I want it like that. So sort of have a sort of have a flipping transition, and then uh. Pan and zoom in whatever way I want. So it all depends on what you prefer. Uh, let's say I want it like this. It's hard to see because they're filming a moving object, so it's hard to see the panning and zooming but yeah you can do your panning and zooming go to visual effects tab take a look at the different uh, effects that you can put into your video so anything you want there a few features here So that's it there. Uh, project standard for four by three ratio or sixteen by nine ratio widescreen. Uh, your view so preview full screen it'll look like that. You can watch your video in the end on full screen. Check it out there. Um, thumbnail size. Um, and then yeah, most of the stuff you're gonna do is at your home. So you can do auto movie themes. I really like these themes because they um, are a nice touch to a video that you do. I'm just going to do this one. Okay, so now you can, now that your clip, like wherever this black line is right here, that's where, that's like your selected clip. Okay, so now I'm going to just go into edit, uh, or... Where to go? Um, here we go. So just click it. Uh, your font size, your type, and then you got your edit text, right? So go in there. Say, uh, you can make it bigger and stuff. Uh, wildlife. A 
Windows or uh, Microsoft production, whatever you want to call it. You know? So, yeah, do anything you want with the title. You can make it have cool effects. You know, and lots of your effects are going to be up in, around this area, right? So, it's really quite easy to use. Just got to play around with it a little bit. You know, so, got that there. Um, and then, yeah, that's really all. I mean, you can do your directed by, you know, edit text, you know, all that stuff. And then you can also add captions. And, yeah, really, it's just about... Like, with these things, you really, all you gotta do is play around with them, and I guarantee you'll figure it out. Because it isn't, this isn't a hard program to use. Okay, so after you have all the stuff you want, have all your transitions, whatever, and sort of skim through, then you can have, uh, change the color of your have the color, like change the color of your uh, little credits pane and yeah you can do the like um, the little transitions and stuff there you know you can do yep just about figuring it out it's really easy you know so yeah that's that um now save the movie uh you have quite a few different options to save the movie okay so first you can go into this little uh blue tab in the top left hand corner or um go to save movie right here and it has the same stuff um yeah actually this program, I think, actually comes with Windows Vista 2, if you're wondering. Pretty sure it does. Okay, so you can just go to Save Movie here, here, or Save Movie here. Um, you can create a custom setting, right? Um, you can make it just for playback in your computer, for high-definition display, you know, so that can be, yeah, just high-definition. Burn to a disk, um... A phone, you know, yeah, phone, uh, and just recommended setting, just recommended for this project. I'm going to do for high definition display. Uh, here we go. Um, save it into here, and it's just gonna take a little while, so I'll catch you later when this finishes. Okay, so, um, as you can see, um, the saving has fin has just finished right now. Um, so, yeah, this took five minutes. This took about five minutes, um, but that really isn't all that long, because when you think about it for high-definition quality, and five minutes, that's not much at all. So, um, now I can show you a little, um, a little thing of what it is. Pretty good quality, I'd say. It's you know, and also what I found out is that if you have like a bad quality video that you're putting in it can't really convert it like it can't like make it high definition like where high definition really takes place if you don't have like an HD camera it just takes place in the titles and credits really but still take advantage of the HD feature I'd say though You got your credits. You look HD, of course. Look pretty good. And then, got our little blue fade we put in there. 
And yeah, there she is. Uh, yeah, that's the basics of how to use Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, uh, and also, um, when I put this on YouTube, I can also export it into, like, YouTube, or like, Facebook, SkyDrive, you know, those things. So, you just click on it, and then, do, um, do your little features you want to put in, and, yeah, it just, be, like, whatever features you want. Other than that, that's the basics of Windows Live Movie Maker. Thanks for watching, subscribe, take a look at my, at my other tutorials, and have a great day.